Hello and uh, very good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to our tea talk number 10 of the year. So anyway, thank you for coming here. And uh, without further ado, uh, actually we have two speakers today. We have Juan Rizita from the library and Chirahaya from ICRI. So without further ado, uh, let us welcome Juan Rizita Ramli, who will be speaking on Library 2.0. Let's give her a hand. Yeah. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Morning Yang baga? Cik Omar Yang baga lah Cik Omar Prof Zoraini And uh, all the academicians and friends uh, I was nervous actually Still nervous when given, uh, when actually uh, requested by Prof to speak, uh, but I guess this is n not really an academic thing, but I'm um, more on promoting <laughs> what we have been doing in the library, uh, just to let everybody know that these are the things that we have been doing and is available for you and for your students. Um, so um, I just would like to share what we have been doing and I hope that um, I can get good feedback so that we can improve uh, more so for the service uh, for OEM um, staff and students. Okay, the title is Library 2.0, but it's not really about Library 2.0 in total. It, it's part of it uh, that I will touch in a minute. Okay, this is a um, summary that I kind of gathered from attending the sea air in Penang last week with Prof. Zoraini. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although it's about academic, but I guess something that I can use in the library for, this, uh, for, for the benefit of all. So these are the things that I've, I've got. Um, I'm not touching the, we, we have been touching about enhancing uh, class, you know, um, modules and everything like that. But uh, on the panel session the last day of the CR in Penang, uh, the speakers talk more about the person, the people, uh, the human being, us being human and we have, we have perceptions, we have values. These are the things that uh, I got from the, the last panel session. And um, one speaker touches about the soul. When you do something, it has to have a soul in it. Kanada <laughs> menjiwai. You know, so it's just not giving service, but we have to give service because we are human. You treat people as human and uh, uh, with with passion, with empathy, or whatnot, and, and the soul kind of thing. Um, and then one person talked about we have KPIs in all universities, in all libraries, in all units. We have KPI, but KPI is just a measurement of things that you can see. But values, people's perceptions, behaviors, you know, attitude towards something, beliefs towards something, that is not measurable. It's up to us. People say beauty is subjective. So um, those are the things, intangibles, that we can't see. And you can only get this <coughs> through socializing, communicating, collaborating, which is what library not like to all, but web to all is all about. It has a machine, but this machine allows you to collaborate, to know people, to socialize with people, to know what they want in a way by communicating. So that is what uh, the library is, is going to this library to all, just for, for the sake of getting to know our client better, to be friends and not just to be, I'm, I'm the library, I'm a unit. If you need something, you get help from me, and our relationship is just there. Okay, we want to go further than just being a library. We want to be their friends. If they have trouble, any kind of trouble, they come to us. They want you just to talk, they come to us. So with that, 
um, we hope that we can serve them better, effective uh, service, right? So that's uh, where I can link um, this future in <laughs> education with what we are supposed to do in the library, okay? And, and instead of just giving resources, I give you a book and that's it, use it, okay? So not that. Um, all right, this is what I gathered from, this is the marketing side of Web 2.0 an article from uh, Salvatore blah, 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 from Wall Street Journal in 2008. In that article, it says that um, it is more focusing on human again. You don't talk to your customers, but you work with them. So you don't just give students what they want, but you talk to the students. You be friends, you become friends with them, okay? Um, participation, that's what we are doing in uh, what to all the visual, participate, we listen to them, we join whatever conversation they like, they can talk about traffic jams or whatever, you know, we will still join in. Um, we don't just sell, but we kind of know what they want. We mold our service for their needs instead of just giving for the sake of giving, all right? We don't want to buy books for the sake of buying books to keep the quota, tapi we buy books because that is what they want. We want to do that. So in order to know what they want, we need to get closer, not just by uh, knowing what we have in the reference list and just buy through that, okay? Uh, and so on and so on. Experimentation, I like that because li library to all that we were doing is actually an experiment. We don't really know yet whether it is fully 100% effective but it's a risk that we have to take. But it's free, so we're not taking any money from <laughs> them. All right, so an explanation of what is Web 2.0 from Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia comes from very lame <laughs> uh, sources, some of them, but I think I like this one. Uh, it focuses on uh, communication, information sharing, and collaboration. That is the, uh, what we are trying to do, to communicate, to share information and to collaborate with the students to improve our service, right? Using this uh, library to all. This is a um, graph of um, a diagram of how Web Tour looks like. A collective of collection, discovery, building, and sharing. All of this is the one that I've mentioned before. So um, these are the, some of the things that Library 2.0 or Web 2.0 offers. You can use, you can use Web 2.0 to share photos, images. You can bookmark books for people to read. Let's say you have interesting books that you want or you have that you have read. You can share that with friends. Uh, knowledge sharing using Wikipedia and so on and so on. Some of the things, not all of them, that Web 2.0 has to offer. And in terms of library, Library 2.0 is actually a, a Web 2.0 applied in the library, so they call it Library 2.0. It, it is using the same Web 2.0 system that everybody else is using. Uh, now, we're not the first as, you know, in Malaysia to do this, um, but we are among the two that started uh, using Library 2.0 uh, to get closer to the students or to the users. In the rest of the world, of course, United States have began this a long time ago. They have started to use Web Tool as part of um, um, a platform to communicate and to, especially to, to promote their services to the, um, the users outside. So, just to show what people have been doing, they use blog, okay? We used to know blog as a personal blog. You write things that you like, you know, uh, things that you have experience and everything like that. But in terms of uh, library, they write about services in the library. Okay, some universities have gone into allowing staff of the library to blog about their experience. If they go, if they travel, they will come back and they write. It becomes an uh, part of part and partial of the, their, their job test that they have to block. It's just to uh, encourage writing. Um, and uh, they allow this during office hours. 
because that is part and partial. So it's graded, it's assessed, it's being assessed, it's not just, you know, super, super, ha, ha, ha.